Hey everyone, it's Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com. Now, guess what? Tomorrow I'm going camping. So today in the kitchen, I'm gonna be showing you a recipe that I'm gonna bring for my dinner on my camping trip so that I don't have to do very much cooking. I'm gonna do it all the prep here today. And then when I get to my campsite and you know it's at the end of the day and I'm tired and I don't wanna fool around, uh, I'll just pop this on the barbecue and I'll have my complete meal already done. And there won't, there won't be any cleanup or anything really, unless maybe a dish, if I decide to even dirty one. So my recipe today is called foil wrapped chicken. And so along with my chicken, I'm gonna toss in pretty much whatever I wanna eat. So what I'm gonna do today is some potatoes, carrots, zucchini, mushrooms, some onions, maybe some wine, and it's pretty much whatever you wanna put in there. That's what's great about it. And the result is a delicious home-cooked meal that's nice and healthy and it tastes incredible. So I'll tell you all about it in just a minute. Okay, so before I go over my ingredients with you, let me just mention that you wanna prepare all of your ingredients, all your vegetables, potatoes, whatever you're using, get everything out, get it all chopped up just like I have right here, and that way it makes the assembly very, very easy and quick. All right, let's go over those ingredients. Okay, so here is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, I'm gonna use a little bit of white wine, I had some chopped up onion already in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna be using that. Some sliced mushrooms, and right here, of course, is our chicken. I'm using chicken thighs. I just think they taste the best, and they cook up the best. Uh, with breast, you might, you know, it might get a little dried out. You never know, it's just a little tougher to cook. And also, you could use fish if you want to. Fish works well with this recipe. All right, so mushrooms, let's see, we mentioned that. We've got the carrots. I've got my carrots already sliced up. Here I've got some zucchini and some asparagus chopped up and some sliced up uh, gold potatoes. And then for my spices, I've got some fresh rosemary out of the garden that um, all you wanna do here is uh, peel off the leaves, off the rosemary stems, and then chop them up nice and fine. I like to use uh, the fresh, it just tastes that much better. I'm also gonna use a little bit of my taco seasoning. I have a video for that if you wanna know how to make it. It has a combination of uh, a lot of seasonings there. Some fresh basil and some salt. And you also have to have some heavy duty, make sure it's heavy duty foil. And we're gonna double wrap these because I'm taking them camping and I don't wanna take a chance that they're gonna tear. And then some of the liquid leaks out and makes a mess. So there you have it. So I'm gonna show you how much I'm pulling out. Okay, so there you have it. I, that's probably a, a good foot and a half long, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way. And the first thing we're gonna do and place on there is I like to place my potatoes. Lay them down, make a little bed. And then I place, oh, I might do a little zucchini. It's really, you know, very uh, versatile here. We can do pretty much whatever we really wanna do. Okay, so you got that down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken. Oh, before I do that though, let me just do a little sprinkle of salt and a little rosemary. I have found that in the past, sometimes in the beginning when I started doing this, I started putting, I didn't put enough seasoning. For whatever reason, you know, don't be shy about layering it on. Then I'll place my chicken right on top and I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna put some more salt. I'm gonna add some of my taco seasoning. Give a little sprinkle there. Give it a little zip. I'm gonna add some more basil. And you can see I'm adding quite a bit, right? And some rosemary. Now I'm gonna go for some of the asparagus. Take a handful of carrots. I like a lot of vegetables, so I like to load it up. And I, each time I put something down, I, I tend to uh, season it up a little bit. So, and then some mushrooms. Look at this, I mean, it's gonna be a feast, right? It's so darn good, and it's such a good and healthy meal. It's just, I love it. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of wine in here, 
You don't need much. Now you don't want to make it too, too liquidy because then you're going to have a problem with it even folding it up and having it run out. I'm going to add a little bit of oil, olive oil, because there's not a lot of fat on this chicken because we removed the skin, which I recommend that you do. Uh, otherwise, you, I think you're going to add up, end up with too much fat. And then my balsamic. I'm going to add just a little bit of that. It gives it a really nice flavor. You can use you know, any vegetables you want, any seasonings you like, uh, liquids. You could do lemon. Lemon juice would be nice with this. And I think the last thing is a little bit, well, I'll add a little more onion to that. Okay, then I'm going to add some more rosemary, because I really like rosemary. I think you can tell. A little more basil around the edge. And that's pretty much it. Now all we do is fold this up like a little tent. So I take up the two sides like this. And I just kind of fold, fold it over, I'm making a little tent out of it, sort of. Okay, once you get the top, then I go to the sides and I just roll them in. Okay, just like that. Now, like I said, because I'm going camping, I'm going to wrap it twice. And so the second wrap is the same as the first. And that, my friend, is all there is to it. It's so simple, so easy. And like I said, it's very delicious, buddy. All right, so that's it. I will see you at the campsite. All right, so here I am. I'm at beautiful New Hogan Reservoir in Valley Springs, California. As you can see, it's a beautiful lake. And I've been out all day kayaking in beautiful 85 degree weather. So now we're back at camp and I am so happy that I have foil wrapped chicken ready to go on the barbecue so I don't have to fool around. I'm tired and it's just nice to relax and just start cooking. So here's what we're gonna do. We have a barbecue here that is fueled by, whoopsie, propane fuel. So what I've got here is my barbecue is nice and hot and I've got my foil wrapped chicken right here and I'm gonna place them on. Put the lid on it. It's gonna be a tight fit, but we can get it to work. And we're gonna check that in 20 minutes. So that's it. And if you have a regular barbecue with briquettes, you can do the same thing. Just you know, wait till they're hot, and you can even push them aside so that they're more that's more indirect heat, and you create an oven effect. So that works great too. All right, we'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, so you take your foil wrapped chicken, and what we're gonna do tonight is because I don't want to wash dishes, I'm just gonna stick it on a plate for support, and I'm just gonna eat right out of the foil. You can do that, or you can put it on the plate, whatever you want to do. So dinner is served. All right, so here's our foil wrapped chicken. Everything is nicely, and in fact, I'm gonna take a bite to test this out. Make sure, oh, everything's nice and good. Mmm, delicious with all those spices I put in there. Very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Very, very good. So that's it. Foil wrapped chicken is super easy to make. It's great for camping, and you can also do it at home in your own backyard. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you have any recipes for camping that make camping a lot easier, be sure and leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear about them. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to get down and finish eating my dinner, and then guess what's for dessert? S'mores. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.